everyone. I thought it would be super interesting to some of you if I did a video that is the whole length of a training session with one key. So you can see how we build through a session, how I work on a session um, and see how it's not all beautiful. Some of it goes right, some of it goes wrong. We change, we adapt. Um, how I listen to her as I go through a training session. So here we go. We have Wonky. She is working towards Pre St George. She's 11 years old. And this is a Friday afternoon training session. Okay, so I got on Wonky probably about three or four minutes ago. Um, we had a problem with the mics. So she's had a few minutes walking, not very much. She's walking on a long range, she's nice and relaxed. Just letting her body get into work mode. I'm probably regretting having eaten my lunch first before I rode her, because her walk is so big, it kind of makes you feel a bit sick if you've got stuff in your tummy. So, sorry if I burp. I hope I won't. As you can see, she's giving me a nice quality walk. She's nice and relaxed. We're just giving her a chance to loosen up. Okay, so we've drifted around the arena for a little while on a, a long rain. Now she came out of the stable this morning not like the model para horse. So I'm gonna um, think about her relaxation. The relaxation is gonna be a really important part of this session. We're gonna pick up the walk a little bit. I want her to be nice and straight. I'm gonna start with a little bit of lateral work in walk. I think it's really important to listen to the horse's breath. I want her breath to stay really regular, little shoulder four. I want her to stretch into my left rein. I want the neck to stay quite long. Not as long as a free walk, but I still want the horse a little long and a little bit horizontal. Keep the back free keep my hands moving with her. She's giving me a really good feeling now. She's stretching over her back into the walk. I'm gonna go a little shoulder four this way down the long side. I don't want her to collapse in the neck. And I'm gonna go a little shoulder four again. The left side is always the side that needs a little bit more attention with her. Good girl. Just that little feeling that she's hollow to my left leg. And now I'm going to bring her across the arena. Now we've got this interesting little pattern on the floor that was put here um, by the riding school owner. I'm at a riding school, it's where I'm based, and we have a weekly pole work exercise that is always put out in the arena. And I could put it away if it was really going to be. A hindrance but I don't really mind. I use them when I want them and I don't use them the rest of the time. I'm just asking her to step off my right leg a little bit more. This is more of a leg yield rather than a shoulder in or a shoulder four. I just want the feeling that she's responsive off my, my right leg. I change my stick over if I feel like I need a bit of backup, but most of the time I don't bother. Most of the time it just stays, stays there. It's really so I don't have to bother picking it up when I want to do more difficult work. Now I'm going to go into a little traver as we go across the school. Do almost like a little quarter pirouette feeling as we go around the corner. Go down the school in that little traver. 
have the feeling that she's connecting through her body. Do a little sort of quarter pirouette feeling as I turn across the school again. We lost a little bit of balance that time. Ask her to come back. Good girl. She pushed a little against my right leg. move her back into a shoulder in. Make sure I stretch down through my left leg, I don't draw it back. Come. Good girl. I find the switching between the shoulder in and the Trava really, really helpful. Keep switching between the two. Keep finding more suppleness, more suppleness more response, more connection. Now I'm going to take her into a little leg yield this way. Good girl. I felt the back come up. Good girl. Now I'm going to take her a little Trevor. I have to be really careful this way that I don't just, good girl. I don't just stick, good girl. I don't stick my right leg just forward out the way. I have to stay connected with my right leg because it's weak. It tends to be the one that I stick out the way. Even though it's on the inside, it still has a job to do. Turning, good girl. Turning, turning, driver. Good girl. Turning, wait, wait, wait. Into a little bit of Trevor. Turn, turn the front end so I get into the shoulder in. Turn. Good girl. Good girl. She swung away from me a little bit on that. That's better. Good girl. Uh -uh, that's not. That's better. That's better. Good girl. So we've done our walk lateral work. Her back feels nice and up under the saddle. She feels good. I'm going to now start to do the trot part of our warm up. Okay, no more sweeties, darling. No more sweeties. That's a good girl. We go into trot. I'm gonna push it off my left leg slightly into the trot. I want to keep her really connected to my right hand. She is naturally so forward that it's always a case of keeping her relaxed, not hurrying, not rushing, but still over the back. Good girl. I really like to hear horses snorting like this. It's release of tension. Bearing in mind when she first came out today, she was quite hot. She was definitely quite stupid going through the yard. I'm not really thinking of flexing at the outside. I'm just thinking of making sure I have control of the shoulder. Making sure the tempo belongs to me, it's not hers. Her natural tempo is always a little quick. She's always wanting to get on with the job. Sometimes I wonder if her mummy told her that, you know, when you're gonna be ridden or driven or whatever her mummy thought was her life, you have to do 20 circuits of the indoor school and then you're finished. 
It almost feels like she's trying to go for the land speed record to get that done. But we have to just say no, come on. Good girl. It's my speed, it's not yours. Do a little stretch. Good girl. Does it take the rain a little bit off me? That's a little bit rude. Bring her around. That's good to take the rain off me a little bit. There's a good girl. Okay. See her mouth a little bit more relaxed now. She's staring at the camera. She knows she's a star. I'll push her a little off my left leg. Good girl. Good girl. Now her back feels really good under the saddle. Really, really good. She feels like she's really, really carrying me. Feels fantastic. It's the transitions backwards and forwards between trot, walk, trot, walk, trot, walk that create the lift and the cadence that makes the trot really special. So now, once she's caught her breath, we will start to pick this trot up and make it a bit more sparkly. Good girl. Shoulder in a little bit. Whoa, there, good. The shoulder in, good girl. The shoulder in helps to make sure she keeps the back up underneath me. Swing, 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 swing. Come back. Good girl. Now it's like working on the good girl. Working on the half halt a little bit. So when I half halt, she comes up. I want the first step when I ask her to trot to be under herself, not pushing away. So I'm going to ask her to trot that first step, if I can, under herself, not pushing out behind her. So she just carries more on that first step before she goes. Good girl. Before she goes into the trot, so she just carries a little bit more. Up with the head. Up with the head. Good girl. Up with the head. Good girl. Now she's after a thousand and one half halts. She's starting to come a little more secure in my hand. A little bit more sitting on her bum. Now she's going to poop. Always goes better after she's had a poo. We keep going. I don't ask any more when we're into the pooing. I just, hey, 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 just steady. I just ask whatever we're doing at the time. Good girl. Now she's offloaded, we've got a little bit more energy. Good girl. I'm going to ask her to come up, up off my inside leg. Good girl. Diagonal. Up. Up. Good girl. Off my inside leg. Come. Diagonal. Up. Up. 
don't fight. Control your body. There's a good girl. Diagonal. Slightly bigger step. Slightly more back step. Good girl. This corner is a little bit slippery, so just be careful. Off my inside leg, come. Up off my inside leg. Good girl. Good girl. Diagonal. Good girl. Off hold, corner, 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 and off my inside leg. Come. Round my inside leg. Good girl. Diagonal line. Off hold back. Good girl. Half hold give. Half hold give. Come. Front of my leg. Good girl. I'm going to ask her to come back a little bit more. Good girl. She's just learning to come back. Come up. Good girl. Oh. Get the balance. Good girl. No, don't rush. Don't rush. Good girl. Don't rush. Good girl. Good girl. I know. It's hard work, isn't it, sweetheart? There's a good girl. Good girl. Up. Back. Good girl. Into the corner. Good girl. Wait for me. Wait for me. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This feels more through. Wait for me. Now you're running forward again. There we go. Wait for me. Good girl. Wow, the swing feels amazing. I'm asking you to sit and swing, sit and swing, sit and swing, sit and swing. Good girl. Sit and swing, good girl. Sit and swing, good girl. Sit and swing, good girl. Good girl. Swing. Swing. Good girl. Swing you through the back. Sit and swing. Now she's running forward again. Come back. Sit. Sit. Go. Time for another walk break and then we'll have a little stretch and then we'll finish. Good girl. Now I'm just giving her a chance for her, her breathing to recover a little bit and her just to relax off a little bit again. She doesn't become particularly tense in this work, but she does need a little time just to stare at the world again before we start stretching. So I'm going to pick her up and then we will go for a little stretch which hopefully will be a nicer stretch than the one we had at the beginning. 
it's always the aim that my stretch at the end is better than my stretch at the beginning. Often I stretch at the end in sitting trot. Stretch at the end in rising trot. Letting her go back into a really kind of quite an ordinary boring trot. She's not always the most consistent in her stretch. She gets distracted by everything. So it's going to give her a couple of minutes to relax into. It's almost like the world opens up to her again when you stretch her at the end. Good cow. So she goes, oh, just noticed everything again. When I'm stretching, I like to try and lead the horse into the direction that we're going. Come on, I know that's the door. Good girl. I was working so hard, the world has changed since I was last looking at it half an hour ago. There's a good girl. There. I'm happy with that stretch now. Oh, oh. There, long way. Good girl, that's done. Now if the weather's nice, I'll take her for a walk. We're outside in the in the fields, but the weather's not particularly nice, so we'll spend the next five, 10 minutes walking around in here. And that's her done for the day. <laughs>